A big change could be coming to high school classrooms here in North Carolina. Yeah, if some lawmakers get their way, the state would be forced to teach math in two very different fashions. CBS North Carolina's Bichelle Edme joins us live from the General Assembly to explain. Good morning there, Bichelle. Good morning, Russ. Well, state lawmakers, they'll be headed to the blackboard to see really what does not add up about the way we are teaching our kids math. This, of course, is not the first conversation about dropping Common Core math, which was put in place back in 2010. Now, last summer, lawmakers said they wanted to find a more rigorous way to challenge classrooms and to also efficiently teach them math skills. This measure would return to the more traditional ways many of us learned math. That means offering students Algebra 1, then Geometry, then Algebra 2. But Common Core math isn't going away for good. This bill would require districts to offer both the traditional and Common Core method. An honor roll student at Garner High School tells us she would welcome a change back to traditional math. She said the switch to Common Core left her with a negative experience, oftentimes confusing her. I learned Common Core methods and I had trouble understanding those methods and so my father could not help me with them and he decided to teach me traditional methods and when I used those traditional methods because they made sense on test I was penalized um, for the methods I used. And with this bill, state lawmakers want to change things for students just like Hope. Now, coming up in our next half hour, you'll hear from parents and what they have to say about the frustrations with Common Core. Reporting live at the General Assembly, Birchall Edmay, CBS, North Carolina.